Well, hello, it's the 17th of December and I decided to take advantage of some mild temperatures to come on outside. I'm sitting here in my shorts, actually, and uh, I decided to start digging through my turtle worm farm, Gilligan Turtle Island, Micah. Decided to feel there wasn't quite enough food in here, don't know why. Certainly the state of the castings and when I dug underneath was beautiful. Uh, so what I did is I gave them a lot more turnip greens that I've buried over here. I've actually, it was quite a big bowl of more fresh turnip greens, never frozen, uh, picked right from the garden. Uh, and uh, this end of the bin is the furthest from the, the little seed heating mat that we have in there. So, and is the furthest from where I fed them last and you know, this end did get all the pumpkins and long ago got apples in there. Um, but I decided to try to dig down a little bit more. I've already, I dug in here and have left this open. You can see the remnants of those, um, of those uh, hanging basket liners still kind of nodding up the, the fork here a little bit. Um, as I dig through, yeah, and that, uh, I'll have to get that off. Oh, there you go. And um, yeah, so that's why I took them out of my worm towers is they're very thread-like and, and just tangle everything. Anyway, I'm in here. I've dug down into the castings. Beautiful, but decided because it's the far end away from where we have the seed heating mat, which is way over there under the farm. So I've got these two compost, I'm not gonna call them rolls, they're things that I made up. Uh, they're little takeout trays um, and then I smeared food on top of the takeout tray and then I smushed um, newsprint down on it and uh, put grit down and everything and then put them in a white paper bag. And so, I thought I will just put those there and the worms will make their way into them and they will behave, I suppose, a little bit like compost rolls in that they've got carbon and they've got, um, I think I put a little bit of castings in there to start the microbial action going. So they are kind of like compost rolls and this is the far end from the heat mat. So. If they do kick up a little bit of heat, that'll be a good thing for these worms down this end. But uh, just get those pumpkin sprouts buried, which is more food for the worms. I've had this lid open for about 20 minutes now, so the worms have long gone, but I can assure you there were plenty of them um, milling around uh, on the top when I first uncovered it. So that's it for the turtle today, uh, really, oh, there's a little guy crawling at the top. Really, I can tell you that there's, um, the uh, height of the castings is falling dramatically. I don't know whether you get kind of a hint. I put the camera kind of flat. It's being built up like, you know, I would say about three, four times that height, several times now, and they just keep eating it down lower and lower. So I'm just pulling around the other side. Uh, and uh, I can show you that uh, they are, they're absolutely all through here. You know, they love the, the cardboard on top. They love the hemp fiber uh, fabric that's here. Um, so they get all the way through this farm and you know, kind of find where they want to hang out. This end down here, where the turnip greens were the last time, this is definitely the warm end. And uh, the end that I just fed is the cooler end. So, but they're all through here. I dug the whole, almost the whole thing, although obviously I didn't dig down to the bottom, but I did all around the edges and I just kind of rearranged the food so it was right to the edge. Let out a lot of flies that were out of something that I put in there. Don't know whether those turnip greens had fly larva on them. Don't know. But anyway, um, there, we also put a lot of leaves in here, so could have been larva on the leaves. But anyway, I 
made sure I shut the back door and let out all the fly larva. And so I think the turtle is good to go. Just put the lid on. I still plan to greatly bolster the height of this turtle farm one more time uh, before leaving it to finish until the spring. And so I am uh, just, um, hoping that uh, that I can get um, uh, one more big, uh, you know, filling, whether I choose cardboard or leaves, or I actually have some mature bedding inside that I could add to the turtle farm that would greatly increase the volume. And then that way, uh, you know, this will become, well, I'm, I'm gonna guess at least 100 liters of worm castings by, by the spring, I think flush to the top uh, here is probably about 80 liters. So if I build it up even higher, I think it'll be 100 or more. So that'll be an awesome addition to our garden come spring. But anyway, doing a great job. So if you have one of these sandboxes or kiddie pools uh, and you live in a mild enough climate to to have it outdoors with, there's no drainage in here, uh, then, you know, this little experiment so far, fingers crossed, seems to be working. So until next time, till the next video, see you soon. Bye, bye for now.